Hey, 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 welcome. This is an educational video about Rust. And before everything begins, let me guess. Did you just uh, watch some streamers and you said, oh, I want to buy Rust. And then you started playing the game and you, you died like a little bitch every time. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry. I got you. So uh, let me show you the basics. I still do remember being a noob and dying all the time. I don't want you to suffer the same the same cancer I suffered at the beginning. I want to help you to, to prosper and, and to, to build a base and not get raided and not die all the time and not lose so much loot or progress. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Let's assume that you are new and you have like zero possibilities to survive if you encounter another guy. Considering that, you should first build a base, a place where you can hide your shit, materials, loot, shit, whatever you have. If you are a beginner, just look for a place where no people are around. At this point, nothing else is important. Professionals are looking for a big open space, but you should be looking for a rock. Something like this one. Then, make two squares and one triangle floor foundation. It has to look something like this. Then, make the walls and upgrade them. If you make two half walls on the first square, you're gonna buy some additional space later. Cover everything up and put two door frames on the triangle. Craft two wooden normal doors and two locks. When you put them down, make sure you don't put them like I did here. The whole purpose of the airlock is that no one can come inside or outside, even if you leave the doors open. Instead, put the interior door in a way that it covers the other door. You also got yourself a nice picking hole for the door campers. As soon as possible, upgrade everything to wood or stone, wherever you had at the moment. Of course, don't forget to put the locks on the doors and lock them. If the light on the lock is green, everyone can come inside. If you do all this, congratulations, your shit hole is ready to use. All you now need is a TC and some boxes. Make sure to put it right in the corner and nowhere else. Do you still remember the half walls I made earlier? Because of those, you can make a triangle platform like this. Now, you need to be precise to put all the boxes on the right place because otherwise they don't fit. With all this done, you can start gathering shit or doing whatever the fuck you want. Also, yeah, make sure to put down your sleeping bag. If you go farming, make sure to farm first around your house, because it is much safer if you have somewhere to run when you see someone. Don't get too greedy, farm some, then deeper, then farm again. Always be aware of your surroundings just like in Pokemon. Your goal for the first day of playing is to make your base out of stone. You should know that every wall has a hard side and a soft side. What you're looking here is a soft side. You can only turn it around in a short time after you upgrade it. After you've done all that, you should consider to replace at least one wooden door with a metal one. About now it's time for you to go outside and make yourself a ball. Then hunt some animals, they will give you some cloth and fat, which is all you need to make a low grade fuel, 50 of which you need to make a furnace. And with that you can start smelting sulfur and iron. These are the essentials of this game. What you need to do here is to get good, and you will only get good by playing and by dying all the time over and over again but you need to learn from your mistakes. This was Dancing Rat. Wait, what? You're not subscribed? What the fuck? Uh, I need to mention, I, I don't I, I don't really have time to make a lot of videos, so uh, don't worry about BD, about uh, about get, getting uh, bothered here. Yeah. 